Over the season, every week, we have been looking at the performance of Ghanaian players abroad across Europe's top five leagues. Today, we have a look at the top five best and worst performers of the season 2020-2021. That's with the best, and number five on the list is Alexander Jiku. He burst onto the Ghana football scene after his first call up in October 2020. He has had an amazing 2020 2021 season, keeping eight cliches in 30 games, 29 of them being starts. He has become a mainstay in the Strasbourg defense, and despite his team finishing 15th, he is in contention to win the best center back of the season. John Boy is number 4 on the list. Not every Ghanaian's favorite player. He has ever earned his spot here, keeping 7 clean sheets whilst captaining the side in 35 appearances, 35 of them being stats. He has made 0 errors leading to goals and looking at all these stats, it's quite surprising that Siki Akono has not called him up for the upcoming friendly. Probably, he will be involved in the World Cup. Joseph Pinto take the number 3 spots for me. After making a switch from Genk in Belgium to Angarakuju in Turkey, this season has seen him make a return into the Ghana Black Star squad. That's how great his performances have been. He made 33 appearances, starting 24 of them, averaged 67 minutes per game. He netted 11 goals in the process, and that has seen him return to the Black Star squad for the upcoming friendlies. It will be interesting to see him in action. Number two on my list is Kamal Dean Suleiman, a breakout season for him, which has seen suitors in Manchester United and Ajax. The young man has improved his goal tally as well, scoring 10 goals and providing 4 assists. Played 29 times for FC North Shetland, and it will be interesting to see how he plays for the Ghana Black Stars. Debut for them was nothing to write home about. Andrea, you obviously will top the list of best performers. Despite his inability to get Swansea back into the English Premier League, he has had an amazing season, which has seen him score 19 goals in all competition, playing 43 times. It has been a great season, despite the disappointment of the Wembley defeat. It will be interesting to see if he stays with Swansea, considering he has run out his contract. Special mentions goes out to Imano Jesse, Daniel Amati as well, who came back from injury to feature mostly for Leicester City. Papa Rahman, who got his first trophy in his career with PLK Thessaloniki on loan, Tariq Fusu who is back in the Premier League with his club side, Brentford, and Mohamed Salisu, who has had a breakout season in the English Premier League. Kudus Mohamed as well, who has fought through injury and finished the season hard with the Best Player Award in May. After an amazing season that saw him win three awards with Crystal Palace, Many thought he would build on that. Jordan finished the season with just one goal in 33 games. He provided three assists. It was a bad one for him and he would want to improve next season. After the euphoria that welcomed his signing, Thomas Partey would feel he did not live up to the billing. With 24 appearances, 18 starts and 2 assists, Partey's season has not been great. Injuries have blighted his campaign, however, missing 10 plus games for the first time in his career. However, he is optimistic that next season, Arsenal will be firing on all cylinders and with no European football, they can't compete. Fred Duncan started the season with Fiorentina but finished it with Cagliari. After failing to secure a place in the Fiorentina side, he played 23 games, 14 starts for Cagliari, providing one assist. All in all, Fred Duncan has fallen down the pecking order and would have to improve drastically get back into contention for the black stars Samoa was number one on my list last season but this season he makes the number two spot after being let go by inter milan at the start of the season as someone went without a club for the first half of the season before eventually joining cagliari in january where he played nine matches and started just one game he had the privilege however of becoming the african with the most appearances in Serie a after making his debut for Cagliari. Number one on the list is none other than Christian Achu. A really, really bad season for him. Left out of the Crystal Palace final squad, added in January by coach Steve Bruce, but never played until the end of the season. It was clear that he was not a preferred player for Steve Bruce. He has now left the club, and his only game to date 
was with a under 23 so those are the best and worst performance of the season let me know your thoughts in the comments box